The NFL season kicks off tonight. We've got a best bet on Ravens Chiefs for you coming up, plus a couple daytime looks in Major League Baseball. Mark Zeno, we were 2-1 and one on the show yesterday after going 3-0 and all the previous days, so not only are we good-looking people, we're smart as well. Yes. The NFL season are. is upon us, sir, my good friend. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, to, to the yokel who, who wanted to clap at me on Twitter about our first five bet, our show best bet yesterday, uh, first five with the Blue Jays uh, on the run line losing, um, Bowden mm-hmm. Francis, guys, um, made two bad pitches, and it cost him three runs, and it cost us the bet. He gave up a solo shot mm-hmm. and a two-run shot in the first inning, in the second inning consecutively. Other than that, the kid was freaking stellar. He went over his K-prop again. I say all this to say, guys, you have to understand sometimes in this business that, like, guess what? Not every handicap you make is a bad handicap because you lost. Like, you have to understand the process over results kind of mentality um, that is part of this whole thing. So, just wanted to get that out there for the people who want to, you know, tell us we stink at our jobs on certain days. And I like to remind them that we're better than you at this. Thank you. They are clapping for us. That is the fans. Please smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners that Mark and I begin out. Uh, You talk about process, Mark. Our process with Major League Baseball, at least for uh, the double play here on Thursday, is going to be focusing on the first five innings. You, uh, we're going to look at series that are both both series that are concluding, the two four-game series that are concluding this afternoon is what we're going to look at here. You're looking at Mariners A's, and our boy Brian, woo, is on the hill for the road team. Yeah, I've been in a, a tough series so far uh, with the Mariners, uh, for for the Mariners, rather, with the Athletics. They lose the first one 5-4, they lose the second one 3-2, and then, of course, what happens, they bust out the whooping sticks like they always do after failing to be able to score. It's like the Mariners are only good like when they score eight or nine runs in a game, and that only happens once every two weeks. So, <laughs> other than that, uh, Brian Wu was on the mound against Joey Estes, and Estes is uh, no bueno. Four two nine ERA. Well, he's got a decent whip, but, you know, this is a guy that, uh, um, you know, hasn't gotten a ton of run support. But I, I have a much better starter here with Brian Wu, and that's what I'm going to try to leverage because Wu has already faced the athletics twice this year, guys. Um, let's just take a quick gander at his numbers over two starts, 10 and a third innings, three hits, no runs, nine strikeouts. I think that continues. I think he's got this, you know, he's got this team's number. It's not something I'm afraid of as far as him pitching, uh, you know, against his team and it coming back to bite him. Uh, again, he he had one start at home against the A's, one start on the road. I told you his numbers. I like the spot here for Brian Wu. First five, money line. Let's keep the tie in our back pocket, even though it's a little juicy. Let's take first five money line here with the Mariners over the A's. Okay, smash that like button if you're rolling with Brian Woo and the Mariners this afternoon. I am also taking a look at a first five play, uh, like I mentioned earlier. Twins Rays. What happened to Minnesota last night, Mark? My goodness, they got shelled. Eight run fourth inning. All eight of those runs charged to Louis Varland, who had just been recalled from AAA. He followed the opener. That was a game you and I talked about on first pitch. I wanted no part of that game with all the unknown commodities on the mound. Now, a couple things to note. One, Minnesota, they lose the game 9-4 last night, obviously, because when you give up eight runs in one inning, it's pretty tough to win. But they actually finished with more hits than the Rays last night, Mark. And I look at the game this afternoon. Minnesota has a clear edge in starting pitching. Pablo Lopez going against Taj Bradley. Pablo Lopez comes into this afternoon on a 20 and two-third inning scoreless streak. No runs allowed in his last three starts. Pretty good. Meanwhile, Taj Bradley in August, well, he was really bad. A 10.41 ERA. So we got two starters trending in very, very different directions here. Minnesota, they took the series opener. They've lost the last two games. They need that series split to remain, you know, obviously Tampa Bay still on the fringes of wild card contention. I don't think they're going to get there. Again, this is a team very fortunate to even be in wild card contention. They've been outscored by over 50 runs this season. I look for the Twins to be ahead after five innings in this one. I will lay the half run. It's plus 105. So I'm going to first five run line play, Mark. No Ooh. questions on the mound for the road team. Uh, yes, you're going first five money line. I'm going first five run line. I think I'm a little tougher than you, quite frankly, on a Thursday. I, I, hope, I hope it's tied after five innings with the Twins. That's not a nice thing to say at all. 
And, you know, I mean, it's not a nice thing to say, but the reality of it is because you want to try to be tough. And listen, when tough, when people who aren't tough try to act tough, you know what happens? You're not tough. So I'm not. I'm not. No. Remember what I call, I, I'm, remember what I, I'm the <laughs> tough relationship. Remember when I called you after I said that me and uh, the wife had just watched All Quiet on the Western Front and all the Netflix remake? I'm like, I'm like, Mark, I got to be honest with you. World War One, I, I, I would have surrendered in 10 minutes. Yeah, that's it, 100%. It, it, it was raining the whole time for God. You know, it's, it's a thing. It's, 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 it's one thing. It's one ball, yes. Yeah, it's one thing to be shot at, but getting shot at in the rain is where I draw the line. Anyway, okay, our, our double play, two first five plays. I like the Twins' first five run line. Mark likes the Mariners' first five money line. Before we get to Ravens, Chiefs, what you've all been waiting for, just a quick reminder, you can pick up a three-day all-access right now at wagertalk.com for how much? Just $49, guys. That's $29, $20, pardon me, off the normal price. Not only have Mark and I been killing it here on the morning wager, not only have I been killing it on the Power Five, how about a 48, 28, and three run on that show, by the way, Mark, all three plays. Uh, you and I both went 2-0 and last night for our clients. Uh, we both were on the Marlins. Again, I had a money line. You had a run line. Maybe maybe I am getting a little tougher than you uh, this week. I don't know. Uh, I also had a very easy winner with the over in Tigers Padres. Uh, so head on over, wt.buzz slash bp to get your three-day all access for $49. I'll let your delusions lie because they are quite delusional. So uh, just go on with the rest of the show. We don't, we don't need to uh, bother the, the, the viewers of this wonderful program with your silliness. So... Let's just keep. Would you like to talk about your night last night? Because yes, you also went two and zero for clients, and I know you you're locked and loaded already for the Thursday night game, and you're looking ahead to the weekend as well. I mean, the Cubbies made it easy on me last night. First five, right? It was was seven. Wish they could all be that easy. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I was on the. I I took the plus one and a half with the Marlins, uh, so I had a little bit less of a sweat. But I texted you once we got the extras. I was like, God, God, this sucks. Extra innings yeah. is where unders and plus one and a half go to die in Major League Baseball. But WT.buzz slash MZ, um, guys continuing to do really well in Major League Baseball so far uh, into September. Yesterday, if you bought the package, you got my uh, NFL play for tonight. Guess what, folks? WT.buzz slash MZ. I will add another play in the Thursday night football game. It'll be a prop bet. Guys, 75% on props last year. It was 20 and 7 NFL props throughout the year the top handicapper in the prop bet market in the NFL last season. So, uh, and I have to stipulate winning percentage in case somebody, you know, heard me say that and then all of a sudden decided to change, you know, the rules oh, neither no. here nor there, but nonetheless, um, we oh, did really no. well prop last year. Um, and so uh, I am locked and loaded with another prop bet for tonight, along with my Thursday night football play. So you guys will get those both at WT.buzz slash MZ and get that three day package. You get tonight, you get Friday, we got NFL games, and all day Saturday, we got college football. Great time to jump in now. Again, wt.buzz slash MZ. You talk about prop bets, Mark. I'll never forget the Super Bowl last February when Kyle Juszczyk caught that big pass. What was that, the I, second play from scrimmage? I you and I were that. both on it. I was like, I, I was like, my God, God is this easy. I, I was the, I don't, I'm this, I'm literally saying this, okay? Everybody else got on that play after I had already brought it up. I brought that play up the minute the Super Bowl matchup was there. I was screaming, I can't find a use check prop. I can't find a use check prop. I know Kyle Shanahan, and I know Kyle use check. Why? Because I know what Kyle Shanahan does for fullbacks because I covered him here in Atlanta when he had Patrick DeMarco. And that dude, Kyle use check, was a lock in the Super Bowl. I just didn't know what was going to happen on the very first play. That made, the, that made the, the rest of the Super Bowl a lot more palatable. Yes, and uh, I, I wound up uh, with the Niners in the first half as well. Good to get out then uh, because they did not win that game, in case if you forgot. Oh. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, Mark Zinno, come into the 2024 NFL season as back-to-back Super Bowl champs. They, of course, then open the season. They will be hosting the Baltimore Ravens. And it was just over seven months ago, my good friend, uh, where these teams met in the AFC Championship game. And Ravens offensive quarter Todd Monken decided not to run the ball very much, which I thought was stupid. Dumbass. It's quite fair. I, I had talk about props. I had a lot of props in that game on uh, tied to Ravens running ball, attacking what I thought was the Chiefs' weakness on defense. It was the Chiefs' weakness on defense. So for today's best bet, okay, Baltimore, who do they now have in the backfield? Derrick Henry. 
We're going to give you a prop. Mark talked about his record on props. We talked about the, you know, how we both had use check in the Super Bowl. Derrick Henry rushing yards, Mark. How's he going to do against the Kansas City Chiefs? Will Monken decide to run the ball in the season opener? Well, you have to believe that it's fresh in their minds that they didn't run the ball enough in the AFC Championship game, costing them a trip to uh, the Super Bowl. That's number one. Number two, the Ravens did not get Derrick Henry to sit there and make him a, you know, shiny piece or a, a, a just a little, you know, after effect in their offense. He's a big part of their offense and what they're going to do. You know, Gus Edwards, all these other guys are all gone. This is Derrick Henry's backfield right now. Um, and, and this is the guy that they are going to rely on to do a lot of the heavy lifting for them. Derrick Henry in his career against the Chiefs has played four games against them. If you take out his rookie year, um, back in 2016, in a game where the Titans at the time won 1917, DeMarco Murray was on that team. He was the leading rusher. Derrick Henry still had nine carries, 58 yards, and two touchdowns in that game. But the other three games, all from 2019, 2021, and 2022, uh, Derrick Henry had 188 yards, 86 yards, and 115 yards. Now, the Chiefs' weakness on their defense still seems to be their ability to stop the run, Um, This is a pretty low number because there are some meager expectations that Derrick Henry didn't look like himself, you know, towards the latter part of his career in Tennessee. However, this is still a a guy last year in 2023 that had 1,100 rushing yards, guys. You know, like if you have 1,100 rushing yards on the year, you're averaging better than 66 yards per game. That kind of gets you there. games. Pardon me. And Tennessee was not winning a lot, obviously, last year. So oh. he wasn't able to rack up the yards late. I mean, they they were not a they were a football team in a, how do we say in transition. Uh, so sure. uh, yeah, they were all trailing uh, too. So there, yes. there was not yeah, a lot. Yeah, of- yeah, not only were not yeah, not only were they not winning, they were often losing uh, by, by margin. So Derrick Henry over sixty five and a half yards. Your first NFL best bet of the season here on the morning wager. Smash that like button if you're rolling with us. Comment down below what you think of it. Let us know your favorite bets for Thursday Night Football. Let us know your favorite bets for Major League Baseball. It's a, Cards heavy in the daytime, but there's still some things worth looking at. If you want more looks in Major League Baseball, check out the aforementioned Power 5 that I also do here on the Wage Talk YouTube channel. It's very important to hit that subscribe button. That way you get the instant alerts for these shows, Mark, when you click that bell, of course. Lots of great shows. Nobody does it better here than the Wager Talk YouTube channel. We got a reminder. Three day no access. Yes, Nobody well, the morning wager, I, it, it is leading the charge now. It is, we're, we're first. It's the most popular show on Wager Talk YouTube. Say it. We go, it is the most popular show on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. We go first. First in our hearts, I mean, people. I mean, people. People are putting. Look, people are at their office right now putting football helmets on. They have no idea what to say. There you go. I'll tell you what. Wake and wake and, wake and bake, baby. Wake and bake. Wake and bake. All right. Um, three day all access, forty nine dollars. I'm on a sixty seven percent run the last twelve days, Mark Zeno. I got to mention that. You talk about cash and tickets. Love what you do when you talk to me for my record, you just randomly throw your crap in there. Like every day. That's what they do care. 22 and 10 college football run. <laughs> Dating back last year. Yeah. Marks, you know, cash is Won all three totals by double digits so far this year, pal.